Hello friends, this is 10th part of online examination system in PHP using MySQL database, and in this part we will learn, how to make add question form for particular exam. In previous part, we have seen how to delete or remove exam from this online exam system, using PHP script with Ajax and Bootstrap modal. But now we have proceed for interesting topic, how admin can add question in particular exam, so here also we will use Bootstrap for modal class. For store question data, here we will use two MySQL table like question table, and option table. In question table, we will store examination question details, with write question option answer. And in option table, we will store question option text will be store in this table. Now we have proceed for coding part, so we have first go to exam.php file, and in exam list table, we have add one more column with title question. For make question add or view button, we have go to ajax action.php file, and here we have define one dollar question button is equal to blank value. After this, here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar exam object, with is allowed add question method, with dollar row online exam ID. This method will check, in particular exam we can still add new question or not, if it is still allowed for add question, then it will if block of code, otherwise it will execute else block of code. First we have go to examination class, and here we have make is allowed add question method, with dollar exam ID as argument. Under this method, we have write dollar exam question limit variable is equal to, dollar this get exam question limit method, with dollar exam ID as argument. This method will return, how many question is allowed to add in exam. For this, here we have make this get exam question limit method, with dollar exam ID as argument. Under this method, we have write dollar this query variable is equal to, Select total question from online exam table, where online exam ID is equal to dollar exam ID variable. Below this query, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar this, with query result method, it will execute above query, and return query execution result. For fetch data from this dollar result variable, here we have write for each loop, with dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write return statement, with dollar row total question variable, so it will return value of total question table column. Now again we have go to is allowed add question method, and here we have write dollar exam total question variable is equal to dollar this get exam total question method with dollar exam ID as argument. This method will return how many question we have already added in particular exam. So here we have make this get exam total question method with dollar exam ID as argument.
Under this method, we have write dollar this query variable is equal to, select question ID from question table, where online exam ID is equal to dollar exam ID variable. This query will return how many question we have already, added in particular examination. For get this result, we have write return statement with dollar this total row method, this method will execute query, and return number of row affected after query execution. So, again we have go to is allowed add question method, and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar exam total question variable value is greater than equal to value of dollar exam question limit this condition will be true if admin cannot add more question in exam and under this block we have write return false statement now we have go to ajax action.php file and under this block we have to write code for make add question button, and in else block we will make button for view exam question list button. For add question button, here we have write dollar question button variable is equal to, button tag with type is equal to button, name and class is equal to add question. After this we have write id attribute variable is equal to dollar row online exam id variable and in button text we have write add question we will use value of both attribute value in jQuery code part same way for make view question button here we have write dollar question button variable is equal to anchor tag ref is equal to question.php with question mark code variable is equal to dollar row online exam code and in anchor text we have write view question so it will make anchor text for view question examination question on another page now here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar question button variable so it will display add or view question button friends first we have refresh web page and after refresh of web page here we can see one question column has been added in exam list table here in one exam data we can add button for add question because this examination is not yet started and in this exam admin can add question and in other exam data we can see view button because there is no space for add more question in exam or particular exam is already completed for add new question admin can click on add button then modal will pop up on web page and admin can fill question details and click on add button then question will be added in particular examination for this we have go exam.php file here we can see bootstrap modal skeleton code so here we have add id is equal to question modal under this we have make one form with method is equal to post and id is equal to question form after this we have go to modal title class and here we have add id attribute is equal to question modal title here will display dynamic title under this tag now we have go to modal body class and here we have write input type is equal to text 
name and ID is equal to question title, under this tag admin can enter question title details. For enter option 1 text, here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to option title 1, here admin can enter option 1 details. Same way for enter option 2 details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to option title 2. For enter option 3 text, here we have write input type is equal to, text name and ID is equal to option title 3. And for enter option 4 details, here we have write input type is equal to, text name and ID is equal to option title 4. For define question write answer option, here we have write select tag with name and ID is equal to answer option, with four option tag with value like, 1, 2, 3 or 4. So admin can define option of particular question. Now we have go to modal footer class, and here we have write input type is equal to hidden, name and ID is equal to question ID. For store online exam ID, here we have write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to online exam ID, and ID is equal to hidden online exam ID. For store page name, here we have write input type is equal to, hidden name is equal to page, and value is equal to question. Same way for define database operation action, here we have write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to action, and ID is equal to hidden action, and in value we have write add. Lastly, for submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and ID is equal to question button action, and in value we have write add. So here our HTML code is ready, now we have moved to write jQuery code part, and here we have make reset question form function, this function will reset question form field value. Under this function, we have write dollar with division tag id question modal title, with text method and under this we have write add question, this code will display this text as modal title. Below this, we have write submit button id, question button action with value method, and under this we have write add, it will reset this submit button value. After this, we have write hidden tag id hidden action with value method, and under this we have write add, so here we have set this hidden field value with add text. For reset all form field value, here we have write dollar, with form id question form, with zero index dot reset, this method will reset all form field value. For remove parsley validation error, here we have write dollar with form id question form, dot parsley method, dot reset method, this code will remove parsley validation error. Now here we have write dollar with document selector, with on method and under this we have write click event, with button class add question, so when we have click on add question button, 
then this block of code will execute. Under this, first we have called reset question form function. For pop up question modal on web page, here we have write dollar with modal id question modal, with modal method, and here we have write show, this code will pop up question modal on web page. For remove success message on web page, here we have write span tag, with id is equal to message with operation, dot html method with blank value. Now we have write exam id variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this we have write id it will fetch id attribute value and store under exam id variable. For store this exam id variable value in hidden field here we have write dollar with hidden tag id hidden online exam id with value method and under this we have write exam id variable now we have check output in browser friends first we have refresh web page and after this here we can see add and view button in exam list data here we have click on add question button and after click on button, here we can see modal has been pop up on web page. And under modal, we can see add question form field, for enter question title, and for option title, and define correct option, of question, by click on this add button, question details will be shared in the system. So, in this part, we have seen how to make examination question add button, or examination question view button, and we have make add question form in bootstrap modal, in next part we will discuss how to add question in online examination system, by using PHP script with Ajax. If you have some suggestion regarding this PHP based online examination system, you can comment in comment box. If you want to learn this system, please stay connected with us.